what's up OMG Nation so how cool is it that I reached 100 subscribers I know I know I know not a big deal to some folks it's a huge deal to me I gotta turn down my radio a big deal to me and I was looking at my analytics I've got not only do I have folks from the US I have people watching from Canada from Germany I've got folks watching from South America from Australia that's pretty cool right there and those folks are watching on a regular basis I've got subscribers out of South America I've got subscribers out of Germany I've got subscribers out of Australia I mean really cool so one of the things that it does that breaks down my demographics <laughs> it shows me a higher percentage of men are watching my channel than women but so big shout out to the men but hold on the women watch longer so the women will watch all the way until the end of even my outro and the men will cut off as soon as I start saying my outro and I start telling people to which reminds me hit that like button it helps me out more than you know and don't forget to subscribe as soon as I start saying that the men switch on to something else <laughs> I think that's pretty neat that it's giving me the breakdown and the analytics it really helps me to understand what you guys like like I say all the time if there's something that you want me to talk about or discuss throw it down in the comments you know I've had people uh, reach out to me I've had people reach out to me wanting to find out more information about the local hog chapter 2715 that I'm a part of out here in Franklin and a few folks have joined so that's kind of cool as well speaking of the hog chapter it is Wednesday night I know this video is gonna come out on Sunday but it is Wednesday and I am headed over to the hog chapter meeting right now we are now meeting at Miller's L House on the second Wednesday of each month. This is our our permanent home for for now, anyways. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how that ends up. If you guys have been watching, you know the history with every single place that we have. Well, I don't know if it's every single place. I think it might be every single place. I don't know. But we have a high percentage of places where we hold our chapter meetings where eventually they go out of business. <laughs> Shh, keep that on the down low. If you're from Miller's L House and you're watching, just ignore what I said. I'm just kidding. JK. <laughs> but hopefully, uh, they seem like some really good folks over there. So hopefully this place will be around for a while. Also, the other day I met this lady. Her name is Carol. She's from Oscar Mike Apparel and Clothing Company. I believe they're a foundation as well. Let me go to that footage now so she can kind of tell you about it. I'll put the link and everything down in the description. That way you guys can check them out. All right, guys, I'm here with Carol with Oscar Mike. And she's going to tell you a little bit about what's going on here. Sure, sure. Oscar Mike is military jargon for on the move. If you serve post 9-11, it was pretty common vernacular. If you needed to be somewhere ASAP, you were Oscar Mike to the next location. The gentleman who started this foundation served two successful tours, came back unscathed, only to find himself a quadriplegic after a car accident. And it wasn't until he was introduced to adaptive sports that he recognized that his life didn't end where the sidewalk ended. And every time he got together with like-minded people, uh, the reason they weren't going to more adaptive sporting events was the cost. And he thought that was crazy, so he works to bridge that gap between the injured veterans who want to participate and getting them to 
to go. So okay. our foundation raises money by selling American-made apparel. Um, we take donations, we do corporate grants and sponsorships and things, and all of that goes towards supporting injured veterans. Awesome. So, hey guys, I'll put their link down in the description. You guys check them out. Yeah, thanks so much, Ryan. So pretty cool thing happened the other day. I met some dude that just got his motorcycle license, took the MSF course, doesn't currently have a motorcycle, was asking me a bunch of questions. And I was telling him about some of the stuff that I talk about, the safety topics and stuff. And I am, you know, I'm the safety officer in the odd chapter up here. I really need to get on these videos that I'm going to make and haven't yet. And the other ones that I'm supposed to make with some of the other guys and for one reason or another, we haven't been able to make them. There's Moonshine. Yeah, where we meet is just right down the road from Moonshine Harley Davidson. To give you some perspective. But anyways, so I need to get on some of these safety topic videos. I'm just trying to keep myself right. I need another camera. I need, actually, I need another GoPro. I need another, maybe a GoPro. I probably need two more cameras. But I'm trying to wait. Cause they're not cheap i need to get a front facing gopro so i can switch back and forth and close this and i need to get a a regular a regular vlogging camera so i can leave this one on the front of my helmet and not have to take it off over and over and over because right now i use this one for everything that's going to come down the road a little bit Woo! back tire slid these roads are funky. When I, were in, when I went around that corner, my back tire kind of scooted on me a little bit. All right, let's see. Where's motorcycle parking? Right here? Oh no. That's to go parking. Okay, so we're inside of Miller's L House, and hopefully there's not a bunch of background music that I'm picking up, but uh, we're eating right now. And this is kind of what we do. This is kind of what we do before we start the meeting. Is everyone gets something to eat. Will gets a lot to eat. <laughs> And then we'll start the meeting and I'll show you guys some of that. I know I've showed you in the past, but I'll show you again. I just confirmed That's yesterday weird. we're going to have a hog social on the 25th of this month. So not this next Wednesday, but the next Wednesday. Uh, and then I think the two following nights after that, there's dealer stuff. There's dealer ride buckets and there's something Saturday. So we got a lot going on for the rest of the month. chapter being the hog chapter 2715 right here in Franklin Tennessee it's sponsored by moonshine Harley Davidson it actually doesn't feel that bad out here tonight I think it's in the 50s I got this first manufacturer jacket on with that thermal zip out liner a shirt and a thermal top on underneath it feels great and I'm just wearing some jeans and uh, some cold gear underneath I feel fine we've got a packed year ahead for riding events especially towards the end of this month we've got a lot of stuff going on the link is in the description to the Facebook page if you just want to join it you don't have to be a member to join it you can come out and do a ride with us you have to sign a waiver a lot of really fun cool people they just love to ride 
but yeah, it's only a $20 yearly membership fee. And then I think you have to be a member of Harley Davidson. You have to be a member of the Harley Davidson, the hog chapter, the main chapter. I think that's like 50 bucks. But that's what Harley Davidson, the company charges. But, but I, our fee is only $20 and people have asked in the past, well, why do you charge $20? It's because we do events. We take that $20 and we put it into the bank account and do events. So, so when we have the picnic, we have to pay for that stuff. I saw a shadow coming up. I thought somebody was walking up behind me as a car. I thought I was about to have to do some Kung Fu. Off the fat boy. Yes, ah! <laughs> I believe I'm going to catch every light. But yeah, that link's in the description, so feel free to click on it, join. We post a lot of good pictures in there as well. Somebody let that guy over, brother. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm catching every light. I just choked on somebody's cigarette smoke. <laughs> Jeez. I was not expecting that when I opened up my visor. Hit me right in the mouth. Hit me right in my lungs, right in my flux capacitor. Kind of excited to get home. I haven't seen Mrs. OMG all day long, and the boy has been working with me at my day job because his school's been out because of the COVID 19 thing, the coronavirus deal. So they're trying to prevent p potential spreading of the virus, and the, the school systems up here close schools until after the children's spring break so now i've got him going to work with me every day to my day job it's a lot easier for him to to work with me than his mom so i talked to my man rob from moonshine harley davidson he is also in the chapter we got a special video coming out and hopefully we can do it in the next day or two and that way i can get it to drop next wednesday but i'll go ahead and tell you the 30th anniversary Harley Davidson Fat Boy, the soft tail. They've got it at the dealership. So we're going to do a, a walk around a little bit different than the first look video because they have time to clean it up. And it came in today. And I couldn't get down there today. So hopefully I can get down there tomorrow or Friday. We can get a good video on, on it and he said he's got two or three more bikes that he wants to do one on as well so i'm gonna always try to drop those on wednesdays so i'll have a couple wednesday drops unless i get so backed up with content that from doing some stuff with them that i just start dropping them a little bit faster just to get them out but we'll see how that goes all right guys appreciate you watching this episode hit that like button do not forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Roger, I've got... Oh, stall.